Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. Hope everybody's doing well and just living their best life. And if you're not, you came to the right channel. If you don't know me, I'm a spellcast. I teach people how to connect with the Goetia. Um, I help with consultations as well, life coaching, and so much more. My information is in the description box. So I just felt, you know, while having breakfast at gym, I wanted to just, you know, discuss a few things about you know, me, about my journey, my journey with Father Lucifer, Kim Belial, and basically I wrote down some notes so that I don't forget, so that I f um, don't forget to say important things that I feel needs to be said. So a lot of you, you know, the you guys know me from years back um, when I had the other channel as well, and I never really spoke about my journey with Father Lucifer and Kim Balao and how I was disciplined, how I was pushed in the right direction, how I lost everything um, in order to gain who I am right now and helping thousands of people around the world. And so I thought, you know what, let's just be transparent and let you guys know my journey. So it hasn't been easy for me, even as a practitioner, you know, we go through hard things as well. We go through hardships, and this is what makes us strong so that we can help you. Okay, it doesn't matter what degrees we have or diplomas, we go through hardships, and that is our actual degree of what helps us, okay, to help others out there as well as our connection with a spirit. So, as I said, a lot of you know that, um, you know, you know me from five years, uh, six years back when I just started out on this platform and it was so amazing, it was unbelievable, but there were so many things within myself that still needed grooming, that still needed change, that still needed upliftment, you know, even though I had the ability and the gift to heal, there was healing that still needed to be done within me. So the only way that healing could be done was basically for me to be able to let go of what was no longer serving me. At the time, um, you know, I, you know, I had a marriage uh, failure, everything just went downhill. Um, I got up, I packed my bags, I thought this was the best thing I could have done. Um, it was, for my growth, it was the absolute best. Um, the experience was not great, but it was definitely one that I grew from, okay? Um, the spirit, King Bilal, and there were other entities that I connect with as well, you know, took me on this journey where I honestly thought I was meeting the most amazing people in my life and we were going to have the most amazing alliances and we were going to do fantastic, you know, and I literally saw myself losing control of what I stood for, uh, losing control with when it came to my connection with spirit, my connection with Father Lucifer, my connection with the ancient ones. And if I look back now, I can honestly say thank you. Thank you, Father Lucifer. Thank you, Kim Bilal. Thank you, Astrop. Thank you, Azazel. And thank all the other entities out there that took me on this trip, which allowed me to lose it all. I literally lost it all. I just had myself when I was taken on this journey, okay? So I want you guys to know that I also went through the purge um, that the ancients put you through, where you lose everything and they, they break you down in order to build you up. They break you down in order for you to see what needs to change in your own life, okay? Working with these amazing beings is no joke as well, as, at, at all. It's no joke. Understand that these beings are real and that when you invite them into your life, they're going to be doing some work and some spring cleaning. And that is definitely what the ancients done when I had the first channel. They did a lot of spring cleaning on me, on people in my life. Removing people that no longer served me was a hard process. But in the end, if I look at where I am right now, it was all worth it. Trusting the process and trusting, once you make those pacts with the entities, trust them, trust the process, no matter how hard it is for you at this moment. Know that it's going to get better. Know that you're going to come out of that hole that you feel is just the worst place ever. Remember, it's all about perspective. We grow the most when we are in our darkest moment or what we as humans call our darkest moments. 
and I can honestly say I would do it again as painful as the process was for me. It built me up to who you are seeing right now on this channel, a transparent, authentic individual that is not afraid to say that she also fucks up, okay? But here I am, here I am to encourage and teach all of you out there that there is, you know, a way out. There is a way out and your hardships is only there to, to push you to your actual journey of where you need to be, to put you on that place. And I can honestly thank the ancient ones. I can thank them for being by my side because one of the things that went on when I first came onto this platform was people finding out who I work with, who I have relationships with. So I lost relationships at that time. I lost many people in my life. Okay, but I gained myself. I gained, you know, being in touch with my higher self. I learned so much. There were so many painful times in my life. But I can honestly, I'm here to tell you, open the door to these entities. But once you open it, be prepared to, to get rid of and lose what no longer serves you. The process, it's like being disciplined. It's, it's a strict structure that they put you through. This isn't just about all darkness and, you know, um, oh, I'm going to invoke the entities. No, you've got to be serious on this path. You've got to understand that these are the entities you are building a relationship with and these are the entities you are going to die having a relationship with. So be real with who you are. Be true to yourself and be true to those around you. One of the things I've noticed about humanity is that everybody just hates everybody. Everybody just, you know, is against everybody. Everybody thinks they know this one better than what you know that one. Everybody thinks they know what you're up to, but they really clearly don't. Let's not be there. One of the most amazing gifts given and bestowed upon me by the ancient one, by the 72 Goetia, was basically learning to trust myself to basically understand that we're all going to have opinions, but to trust your own intuition. To trust those in your circle and to respect people. Don't take advantage. Respect those around you and it will get you far in life on a spiritual level, but also humanity and the collective, fixing humanity and fixing the collective. By changing yourself, you change the collective. And that is why I make these videos. And I just wanted to say, yes, my journey was not always easy. It was hard, but I'm proud, you know, to say who I am today, sitting here in front of you guys, making this video. We all fuck up. The, the best thing we can do is get back up and to continue on the path that we are meant to be on and to encourage and to help those out there. A lot of my clients know, and a lot of you who know me and had consultations with me, know that I'm extremely transparent and authentic, and I love people to see that I'm as real as they are, and that they, I can basically speak on any level, as long as it means I'm able to help you. That is all that matters to me. That is what feeds my soul, being able to, to do my work as a healer on this plane. And if you are feeling down and out, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. My information is in the description box. If you're going through the purge right now, trust the process, guys. Trust the process. And for those of you who knew me from years back, thank you for, for continuing to follow me and listen to what I have to say. I just love you all. Stay blessed. And stay true to yourself. Never allow outside influence to, to get the best of you. That's the best advice I can give you now, here, today at this moment. Bye for now, guys.